Buenos dias, nerf herders. You'll notice something slightly askew about Jake and I today. Today we're in the lab, talking about... Science! science. Today, we're going to talk about aftermarket darts. In particular, the full vinyl jacket, otherwise known as the FVJ. There are several differences between an FVJ and standard elite darts. The differences are... The tip is a solid tip with no hole in the side of it, and the foam can come in varying qualities and colors. Here they are, side by side. Hard to tell the difference, colors slightly varying, but when you hold them in your hand and you flick the tip, you can tell a difference between these two. The FVJ is generally considered unfit for most games because its harder tip is more painful and can potentially cause more damage to your eyes. Tonight, we're going to test that theory. We're going to test that theory indeed. With science. Science. The scientific method. Today, I'll go over this with you just so we know. Our hypothesis is that the FVJ will not hurt any more than a standard Nerf dart. So, for our opening, what we'll do is we'll take an unmodified standard blaster, the way you would buy it from the store, we'll load two regular darts and one FBJ. Then, we're going to go ahead and fire it at Nerf's target market, a 12-year-old boy. Upon firing and marking the three rounds upon the 12-year-old boy, we will then ask him which one he thought hurt the worst, and we'll look at any potential welts and see if there is actually any difference. And if there's no difference, then we've disproved it by our hypothesis and our results. That is how science works. Science. This is our Vic, I mean, test subject, Stephen. Stephen. Tell me. We will begin with the stock strong arm. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Where did that one hit? Same, same spot. Same spot. Oh, don't be up. I see it. Three, two, one. See that one. I see that one from over here. All right, which one hurt more? Uh, the one right here. Number three. Number three was the FBJ. Indeed. Now I know some of you are thinking, I don't use stock blasters. I modified these things beyond their store-bought capacity. How will FBJs affect me? Well, we will test our same hypothesis again, this time using modified blasters. Like Gladys. We will use this control experiment to find out if a modified blaster with FBJ rounds is indeed as painful as they say. I don't think it is. That is my guess. Educated. And it's with science. Science. We are now performing the test with the modified blaster. Back in the floor. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. <laughs> you see where that one is? It's right a little bit there. Yeah. Oh, that's right there. Three. And you're, you're not lined up. Oh. Oh dear. Three, two, one. Which one was the FBJ, Stephen? Um, the one in the middle, like, right here. Sure. Second one? Kobe number two. Actually, the FBJ was number three again. Really? All right, with the modified blast. So there you have it. The test is not quite conclusive, but I'd say that if a 12-year-old boy can handle getting shot with FBJs, so can you. Be a grown man. Accept the pain. The pain is part of life. 
And I think that's all about all we have to say in the name of science. Science! Buenas noches, nerf herders. There <laughs>